Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase. In this video we'll take a look at a simple Docker build for Oracle REST Data Services or ORDS. In this example we're using Tomcat on Oracle Linux 8. ORDS can be run in standalone mode but I prefer to run it on Tomcat. So that's what I'll show here. Let's check out my GitHub where I keep all my Docker files. We'll drill into the ORDS section and we'll take a look at the OL8 ORDS. So this is an ORDS installation on Oracle Linux 8. And we can see here there's quite a lot of stuff there, a few scripts, and then Tomcat, Apex, OpenJDK, ORDS itself, and SQLCL. So let's have a look at the Docker file. As normal, a whole bunch of comments at the start to tell us how this works, but let's jump through to the main body. In the from operation we can see it's based on Oracle Linux 8 Slim. What we have is a bunch of environment variables that are mostly software versions and paths, so we don't really expect these to change. Then we've got the environment variables we do expect to change with each container, so that's what database is it connecting to, and then credentials for the database, but also Apex password and Keystore password. So the first thing we do is we copy the software and the scripts into the relevant directories. We install the OS packages and install the ORD software. Switch across to Tomcat. We make the Catalina base a volume so that the storage for this is persistent. This way, if we get rid of the container, we can keep our config and our applications. We expose ports 8080 and 8443. And there's a health check, which at the moment always returns healthy, and we'll get onto that later. And then the start script. So let's have a look at some of these scripts. As I said, the health check just always returns zero. It's really up to you to define what constitutes a healthy system, depending on what you're actually using the container for. So rather than try and preempt that, I've just made the assumption that everything's good. Install the OS packages is relatively simple. We just install a few things like unzip tar, gzip, and then a few things that just prevent errors with ORDS when it's using OpenJDK. The ORD software installation itself is fairly simple. We're really just unzipping things. So we make the Tomcat user and then we unzip the Java software, unzip the Tomcat software, unzip the ORD software itself, and unzip SQLCL. We're using SQLCL just for a test that the database is available. We'll see that in the start script. And then we also want a copy of the images from Apex. So we're not using Apex directly, we're just getting hold of the images. And then we change some file permissions. And that's really it. It's more or less unzip and go. Before we start looking at the start script, I'll just mention this server XML. It's just a copy of a typical Tomcat server XML with a few modifications. So for example, I've put in the SSL config, but I've got some placeholders which will replace during the build and a valve for the X forwarded for, which will also handle during the build. So let's look at the start script. So the first thing I want to do is check to see if this container's ever run before because there's a few setup things we want to do on first run only. So we'll just touch a file on the first run so I know that this is the first time and subsequent times that file will be present. We define a function called graceful shutdown that contains the Tomcat shutdown and then we associate that with a few signals. Before we attempt to start, what we always do is check to see if the database is up ORDS isn't very tolerant of the database not being present, so instead of just launching into it and potentially having Tomcat start before the database, I just have this little test that makes connections to the database to see if the database is present. 
And what it will do is use SQLCL to make a silent connection and test to see if the database is alive. So here what we can see is we're attempting this connection every 30 seconds until we get a successful connection. So we're checking that the Catalina base has got something in it and if not we build it. Remember this is probably going to be an external volume so it will persist beyond the life of the container. I check for the presence of the web apps i directory and that's where the apex images will go. If this is a first run then we need to build a parameter file for ORDs based on the environment variables we've set. And then we set the config directory and then run the installation. This is a silent installation so it's just going to work its way through. And once that's complete we copy the ORDs war file into the web apps directory. If the key store doesn't exist, we create a self-signed certificate and that's going to be used by Tomcat for the HTTPS setup. Notice these said commands which are going to replace those placeholders in the server.xml file so that we have the right values in there. And we're going to copy that into the Catalina base conf directory. At this point we can start Tomcat in the normal way and then we tail the log file in the Catalina base logs directory and wait on that endlessly. Remember if this tail dies then the container stops. Let's have a look at the build phase. We're in the directory with the docker file and we can see in the output from the tree command that we have all the software present in the software directory. We run docker build using the no cache flag just so that we don't use any existing layers. The minus T option allows us to give a name or a tag to this image and the dot just means we're in the directory with the docker file. All the software gets sent to the build context, it's pretty quick because it's quite small. We can see we're basing this on the Oracle Linux 8 slim image. We have all of the environment variables set. We copy the software and scripts into location and then we run the install OS packages script and we can see that's pretty quick because there isn't much to install and now we do the setup so this is really just unzipping all the relevant software now we switch across to the Tomcat user create the volume for the Catalina base expose the ports we reference the health check script and the start script. And that's the build phase complete. We now have an image we can use to build a new container. We're going to have two containers talking to each other, so we create a Docker network. Notice Docker network create and then a name for the network. We're starting up a database in a container based on an image we built in a previous video. Notice we've attached this to the network we just created. We've attached a volume that contains an existing database, so the startup should be pretty quick. We'll just check the logs to make sure the database is started before we move on. That looks like it's running, so let's create the ORDS container. So we've got docker run and the name of the container. We're exposing the ports, in this case matching the internal and external ports. We're attaching this container to the same network, giving it information about how to connect to the database, including the DB host name, which is the database container name. We're mounting an external volume to the Catalina base location inside the container so that we have some persistent storage. And of course, we're basing this on the image we just built. That's the container built, so let's have a look at the first time config in the log file. It's noticed this is a first run, check the database is available, built the Catalina base location and put in the apex images, and then it's prepared the ORDS configuration file and started the ORDS configuration. It's done the HTTPS configuration and now it's starting Tomcat. We've got some warnings because we're using the default settings for the connection pool and they're considered quite small, but that's okay for this installation. 
Now that's started, we can test this in a browser. If we jump across to the browser and use localhost port 8080 slash ORDS, we can see that ORDS is fronting the Apex installation in the database. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.